All right, let's talk a little bit about what we do to test our products and test for abrasion resistance. So we've created a mold that we can make samples with different types of concrete mix designs to see how things are going to react. So we come out with a puck that looks a lot like this. Then we take this puck and we cut this at a half an inch so we can do our tests. Then we clean it all up and we come over here and we weigh it. And that becomes our starting weight. Now we take it and we put it on this machine called a Tabor abrader. And then we run cycles with this machine abrading this surface. We blow it off air, we come back, we weigh it, and we record the weight. 25 cycles, what is the weight now? And we do this all the way through 200 cycles. After that, we go 100 cycles at a time. We get to the end, we have a weight. We can now compare what the abrasion between them were. The lower the amount of material that's removed, the better the abrasion resistance of the sample is. So another thing we do to test is scratch testing. This is a great field test that can be done in the field and should be done on all the new low carbon concretes. These picks all have different numbers, two all the way up to nine. We always start lower and work our way up. We make an even scratch using the heel of our hand in the same place and moving about three quarters to an inch and a quarter with the pick. You can see that the plastic number two pick does not scratch this sample. So we'll go again and we'll use the copper number three pick. We got a little bit of a scratch there, but we don't have a great scratch. You can see now that this is scratching for sure with a number four pick. If you drag the pick across it, you can feel the scratch. What does it mean that it's scratched with the number four? That means this is relatively soft. When we're going to polish concrete, we want this to be above a four before it scratches. So if you scratch with a five and not a four, you're somewhere between four and five. So we call that a 4.5. So for polished concrete, we always want to have at least a 4.5 before we start grinding. <laughs>